Hey ladies, welcome to another workout session with me. Today's workout is a full body 10 minutes workout for all my pregnant sisters out there. If you're in your first, second or third trimester, this workout is very, very good for you. Just make sure you've gotten an approval from your doctor to work out before attempting any workout in your pregnancy, okay? For today's workout, we're going to work in the entire body. We're going to start with the legs. So we have four sections, the legs, the arms, your abs, and finally, your glutes. And for the workout, I'm using some weights. I'm going to be using my sand weight. This is approximately 2 kg. And I'm going to be using my dumbbell, dumbbell of 4 kg. So if you have weights, you can grab your weights. You can use bottled water, okay? That's okay too. If you have sand, well, sand weights, very, very good. You can also use your body weight. Very, very good. And you can easily make this workout a 20 minutes workout if you want to prolong it by just adding one more round to it, okay? So let's get started with the first section, the legs. We start with the wing march in five, four, three, two, one. Let's begin. Remember to breathe in and out, relax the shoulders and engage your core. Even though you are pregnant, you can still engage your core, okay? Next, we are going to the reverse lunges after this. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Next, the reverse lunges, okay? All right, let me turn to this side so you can see me properly. You just take the back knee, Back, lower the knee to the ground if you can go low. If you can't go low, just stop wherever it's comfortable for you. Bring it back and take the next one back and bring it back. Now, when you lunge, make sure you're putting your weight on the back knee, okay? So don't do it forward like this. I need you to lunge and put your weight on the back knee. We start in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Don't lose your breathing. Keep breathing in and out, okay? You can place your hand on your waist if it's more comfortable for you. Next, we are going to the cow raises to knee tops. We start in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great! For your calf raises, raise yourself up to your toes, come down, and then Bring your right knee up, almost to the chest level, bring it down, go again to your toes, come down and take the left knee up. We start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, again. Now you can again place your hand anyhow you want to place it, okay, for balance. Next, we are going to side to side shuffles. Get ready to stop. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Your side to side shuffles in just one, two, three, and one, two, three. We start in five, four, three, two, one, join me. If you want to add to the intensity, you can add a skipping movement, okay? And next, we are going to the squat to glute kickbacks. Get ready to stop. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Now for your squats, just the basic squats. Your legs a little bit wider than your shoulders, and then your bum like you're about to close the door behind you. Push down when you stand, extend your leg back. Now, don't just throw the leg out there <laughs> like a bull about to go for a fight, just kick it back, extend it slowly, then squat and extend the other one. We start in five, four, three, two, one again, down and up, kick back, down, and up, kick back, 
down and up, kick back now this is our last standing workout for the legs we're going to the next section for your arms in 5 4 3 2 and 1 great let me down now for your arms we are using the weights no it's okay i'm going to use this first the smaller weights because i need the arm kickbacks i'm going to start with the right leg so basically what you do lean forward just a little just a little so i did and then you're going to place your left hand on your left lap let me just run this way no this way is okay so lean forward in from your weight we are from your hips place your left hand on your left side and then you see this one you're just going to kick back one and two so you're kicking back both your legs and your left your right hand i mean now when you're kicking back this right hand make sure the upper arm is close to your side so i don't want this don't do this okay keep this hand this part of your arm close to your side and you're just kicking back the lower arm do you understand so this is it again lean forward and one we start in five four three two one let's begin you're going to feel this on your thighs too the left side and then your triceps is going to feel this kick back try not to move your upper arm we will soon stop get ready to switch in five very soon four three two one let's switch Woo! remember you can also use your body weight for this okay ready let's go after this we're going for our second weight we need both weights for the next exercise get ready to stop we stop in five four three two one so get the second weight we're going for side raises this okay make sure you're keeping a straight a, a long neck so just bring your neck a little bit down so maintain a long neck we start in five four three two one begin up and down relax your shoulders and engage your core as usual don't forget to breathe in okay breathe in and out We're still going to use our weight for the next workout, the alternating shoulder press. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Whew, I feel that. So for my alternating shoulder press, I'm going to use my heavier dumbbells. You can still maintain the weight for this, okay? All right, so this is just the alternating. One arm up, then the other one goes up. We start in five, four, three, two, one, begin. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Make sure you're keeping a long neck. We'll soon be done, okay? You're doing so well. We'll soon stop. And we're going to drop our weight for the next workout. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Let's shake it out. Shake it out. Okay, so we're going for shoulder holds. We're going to start with the right palm on top of the left. And we're just going to slide, slide, slide until we hug ourselves. And the right elbow is resting on your left elbow. And then we'll slide it out again. We start in five, four, three, two, one, begin. Hug and expand. Hug and expand. You should feel this on your triceps. Keeping a taut arm is very, very important during our pregnancy. We'll switch hands, get ready in 
five, four, three, two, one. So place your upper arm on the ground. So your left arm is on top and let go. And open. And open. This is our last arms workout. The next section is for our abs. Get ready to stop. In five, four, three, two, and shake it out. <laughs> okay, so for the abs. So for your arm, we need to start with the oblique crunch. The alternating oblique crunch. Are you ready? You need some rest. Okay, let's rest for 30 seconds. Just 30 seconds, okay? Move around and catch your breath. Take some water if you want to take water, okay? I know how it feels to be pregnant. I've done it, I've been there twice, so I know how tired you get, how thirsty you can get, how out of breath you feel at this stage, so you get a little bit more, okay? Just take some breath, breath in and out. Uh, during our workout, we are trying to breathe in, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, okay? We are doing so well. We'll soon go to our the next workout in the abs section. You ready? Alright, let's get started. We do a big crunch. Place your hands up and then we're just going to try to tap our elbow to the knee, okay? Now let them meet halfway. Don't bring your elbow too down and don't bring your knee too high, okay? So, halfway and halfway. We start in five, four, three, two, one, let's begin. Every time your elbow and knee comes in contact with each other, I need to breathe out, okay? So, get ready to switch to the next exercise. We stop in five, four, Three, two, and one. We're going to the tummy tucks. For this, I'm going to turn to the side and I'm going to bring my glutes up so that it's what I'm doing. Okay? So just here, your glutes, your tailbone, just tuck it under and then expand. Okay? So you tuck under and then you stand back up. That's just all. So I'm going to place your hand behind your head. I'm not grabbing my head. Just place them gently and then as if you're doing a standing crunch. Don't worry, it's totally safe for the baby, okay? The baby will feel like you are giving them a hug, okay? Whenever you crunch, I need to breathe out through your mouth, so and out. Inhale and get ready to stop. We stop in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go down, okay? Just give me a moment to adjust the camera. So for your, so for your side down, you're going to bring your left knee, stack it on top of the right knee, and then you're going to lift yourself up by the waist, the hips, okay? Now if this is too intense for you, you can just bring your left leg and drop it in front of you this way to reduce the intensity, okay? Ready? So we start in five, four, three, two, one, begin. You can also place your hand in front of you to reduce the intensity, okay? Try pushing your feet forward so that you, your waist goes in because you're carrying the wonderful things. <laughs> Get ready to switch. Stop in five, four, three, two, one. Let's change positions. You ready? Remember, you can rest at any point. Okay, if you're feeling out of rest, please pause the video and rest. You can continue later or some other day. Okay, just listen to your body. All right, we start in five, four, three, two, one. Begin. Again, you can bring your upper leg and just lift it. After this, you're going for the heel slide. You're almost, you're doing so great. You're doing so great. Always bring your hip down to rest and then continue when you're tired, okay? We stop in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Because you can, you're not supposed to lie straight. 
press or flat on your back when you're really heavy, say in your second or third trimester, or when you prop up like this, okay? So prop yourself up on your elbows and then we're going to slide one hand forward until it's resting on the mat. Then we slide it backward and then alternate with the second hand. You ready? Great. We start in five, four, three, two, one. When you're sliding forward, take it here. When you're returning the knee, reach out, okay? If you're hearing my baby's voice, bear with me. We are all on lockdown together, so I can send them to school up to We are all together. I can't move their grandma's knees. Remember to breathe in and out. And breathe out. We're almost done. We'll stop in five, four, three, two, one. And now, our last section. We are almost done, ladies. We've gotten to the last part. Let's work the glutes out. When we're done with our baby, we want to have a popping bone, right? Our glutes has to be popping. Nothing should be flabby in our body once we're done, okay? So, for your glutes, you ready? You ready? You want to rest? No, you don't want to rest. That's very good answer. We're going to start with the glute kickbacks. You ready? We start in five, four, three, two, one. Begin. So now, as you're kicking back, make sure you're not moving your hips, okay? Keep your hips in place. After this, we're going to switch to the other side and then go for the plants, okay? We switch in five, four, three. Other side, you ready? Let's begin. Okay? Stop in five, four, three, two, one. Okay? So we the palm shells. We start with the right leg. We start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's begin. Now when you're opening up, make sure Very soon. 
stop in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so let's stretch. It's going to be a seated stretch, okay? So we're going to stretch out the sides and then we we'll stretch out our hips area, okay? So bring your left hand down beside you, your right hand up, above, and then just twist, sorry, bend to the left. Like I'm doing, just do what I do, okay? Let's switch sides. Now we're going to just come forward just a little, as little as our stomachs allow us. <laughs> Now you're going to place your right hand, your left hand on your right knee, and then just gently twist, just gently, okay? Maintain a straight spine. Right hand, left knee, gently twist, maintaining a straight spine, okay? And you need to feel the stretch on the left, on your right side body, okay? The right side of your back. Finally, we're going to do a reversed table top stretch. So just bring your hips up, as up as you can go, and then stretch out the shoulders. You should feel the stretch on your shoulders, okay? Bring it down. Curve forward just a little, and do it again. Bring it down. Thank you for joining me for today's workout. I hope it was quite a stretch for you and you enjoyed every part of that. Make sure to subscribe before you leave the channel and like and share with your friends. I can't wait to do this again with you. But till then, stay safe, okay? Bye-bye.